Hello and welcome, MUI series part number 8 is here. Today we will create a snack bar component, also known as toast. It's basically a pop-up with a message, which can contain a warning or success information. And this video is a setup for part number 10 of the series, where I will be creating MUI data grid. To start, go to MUI.com forward slash components forward slash snack bars. And as mentioned earlier, snack bars provide brief notifications and we can use them to inform users of a process that an app has performed or will perform. As an example, we could be fetching the data, something goes wrong and snack bar will show an error message or the data has been fetched successfully. Then we can display snack bars with a success message. Snack bars supports range of props like severity that expects string and if we set it to error then our alert will get styled out automatically so its background is red as well as transitions, anchor origin, duration time but I'll go over it in a second once we move on to the API page. Right now I'm just clicking through the various examples that MUI provided so you can visualize it better. And once we are on the bottom of this page, we could go to the API section of a snack bar component where all props are documented. So you just click on the um, API page and I'm going to start from the top. Action is an end part of the snack bar where we can set our custom actions, anchor origin used for positioning on the screen, auto height duration set in milliseconds and if we set it to 1000 then this element will hide after one second children if we wish to add custom children in it classes to override styles but you should be using sx props um, click away listener if we wish to monitor outside clicks content props same usage as children key um, handy if we wish to display multiple snack bars at the same time Message uh, is just a string to display information to the user. On close um, is a function callback where we can set our state to close the snack bar. Open, boolean, if it's true then the snack bar is active or visible. Um, auto height duration, SX props to, for styles override and multiple transition props uh, to customize the animation of showing and hiding your snack bar component. So as you can see, there's a lot of room for snack bar um, customization. Okay, coding time. Um, for the next few episodes, we are going to customize the storage page. And to do so, we need to wrap it with a grid wrapper component. So you go to storage.js um, component. And instead of your div, just type in grid wrapper and the component should automatically get imported. So now we need to create a folder and a file for our snack bar component. So within the source components and common, we're going to create folder uh, with a name, uh, basic snack bar and the file with the same name. And we're just going to leave it empty and we're going to paste some code straight from the MUI website. Okay, now we can go back to the MUI website. Um, and I'm interested in the customization part of a snack bar as that's what we're going to need for our data grid. So I'll just copy the code that's underneath it and paste it back into the um, basic component. And before we change anything, I'm just going to import the basic snack bar um, back to the storage.js um, just to make sure our freshly created component actually works. So we need to return that basic snack bar inside of the um, return function. And as you can see, uh, all the alerts um, have been rendered and interactive button uh, works as well. So on click um, produces another snack bar. And we're just going to get rid of the um, alerts that we have as we're not going to need that for now. And this is where our adjusting process starts. We want the component to be controllable, so we can pass in open state, on close function, severity type, or a message. I've just got rid of a stack and I'm gonna replace it with a um, React fragment. And the button that we have, I'm gonna um, change it to the common button uh, that we've created earlier in the series. And as you can see, it has been automatically imported. Um, the only thing that might need uh, adjusting is the variance. 
just to see which one looks the best on this grayish background i'm gonna play around with the variants but i think the contained one uh will be the best yep i'm not using any formatting tools within my uh, vs code and that would get handy now so i'll just skip that part of me adding indents as it's not really uh valuable okay this looks slightly neater now uh, and we can start passing our props so i'm gonna uh, type in open equals to open uh, and that's a boolean severity equals to severity um, and this is a string and unclose equals to unclose which is a callback function and we can start passing these um, in our um, basic snack bar as well so we need uh, to get rid of the um, use state handle click and handle close and we can actually um, copy and paste it to uh, the storage function or storage component and I've also updated the name so it matches the uh, basic snack bar and at the bottom I am missing the export default which I'm going to add in a second I also like to call all the uh, react imports in the top level so I'll include use state and forward ref in there so import react uh, comma use state and forward ref inside of the curly uh, brackets and then uh, we can take all the uh, props so open handle close and severity uh, sorry on close and severity and all that functioning codes we're gonna just take it out and paste it back to the um, storage component we also uh, miss in the use state so we need to define it in the storage.js and the handle click uh, needs to be updated to the on click and then obviously that export default um, basic snack bar and if we go to the storage.js um, component we need to make sure our props are calling the right things so the on close should be calling the handle close function and severity um, obviously it's not set uh, we're just gonna hard code it to the um, string error. We removed open state in basic snack bar, um, so the alert will never appear. And we can just hard code it for now and set it to true. So as you can see, it will be always visible. But we're gonna link up all the functionality, and we're gonna move the common button to the storage component as well. And if we change the severity uh, to like warning or success, as you can see, it will automatically uh, update its styles as well as the icon. And now we can link unclose, so it calls handle close function and also open equals to open. And the last thing that we're missing is the um, button. So the button needs to be uh, taken out from here and copied back into the storage.js and obviously we still missing the import so uh, common button needs to be imported okay that's done and the last thing that we want to do is uh, pass in the message prop so we can define the message in the um, storage component. So to do that, we need to get rid of uh, our message inside of the basic uh, snack bar and replace it with a message prop. And then we can call that uh, message prop inside of the storage.js and define the message there. And obviously I've got to do some cleanup as well. Um, just to make sure uh, the indents are in the correct position and then we can go back to the storage.js and define our message so type in message equals to some random message it doesn't matter what because we're going to change it later as uh, we're going to move on with the um, data grid component and that's all with the snack bar component it's pretty simple to create it and use it hope you did like the video if true then drop me a comment like it and share it and if false drop me the comment anyway and tell me what's wrong in the next episode i'll walk you through the skeleton loading as we're going to use that for our data grid and 
Thank you for watching. See ya.